My name is Susanna Mittermeier and um, uh, what I do in this reality is um, I'm a so-called psychologist. So um, I have the pleasure of working with people who um, come with some kind of troubles. And the funny thing is most of them, you know, who have decided something is wrong, of, wrong with them, they suddenly discover something totally different. So growing up where I did uh, was in Austria, in Vienna. When I was in Vienna with lots of people around me, um, I did not know how to deal with all this input, all these stimuli from not only from cars and traffic, but mostly from people. People are actually very loud. <laughs> you might have noticed when you walk around in nature and the peace and the quiet, and then you go to a big city, it's like, wow, there's a lot of stuff going on. And so I like, I was one of those weird kids that wanted to be by themselves because um, that was the only way where I could kind of like um, find my peace and find the peace of me being me. And so I, I, I always liked people. So I so desired to find a way to both be able to be with people and enjoy them. And also at the same time, um, having ease with being myself. From, you know, being really good at satisfying other people's needs and being right in this world, I had to find out who do I desire to be? So I finally ask a question. I mean, that's huge, you know, like, of course it's huge because in the world where it's all about answers and being right and conclusions, asking questions, what do I truly desire? Holy moly. So then I'm like, so what would I like to create in this world? And I wrote everything down that came up in my world. A lot was about showing people, hey, life can be fun. Life can be ease. It's not all about fitting in. It's about, you know, being who you are, showing up as you. So I'm like, so what is this profession called that does that? So I looked in my university book, you know, because that's the reference point I had. You know, my, my family was like, please can someone have a university degree you know just to, to you know have a you know also be a great family so i'm like okay so this is obviously what i have to go after so i looked in the university book so what is that profession called couldn't find anything could not, couldn't find anything so after a while i'm like okay so what comes closest to that or what do i think come closest to that and the, the thing that popped was psychologist I'm like, I have no idea what that is, but you know, sounds kind of interesting. And so I started and it was a five year program and I, I couldn't believe it. I actually finished it. This was a big hallelujah moment for everybody, especially myself. I'm like, Mittermeier finished an education. Wow. You know, cause I was, you know, one of these kids, I was doing acting, cheerleading, judo uh, figure skating i think it's called in english and like all these very diverse things but i never finished anything i'm like i drove my parents nuts with that so hallelujah i finished an educa education wonderful great i started out being a normal psychologist um <laughs> after my education i you know i did everything i was supposed to do with psychotherapy and the neuropsychological testings i did which basically means that you know people come and there's the question mark of does this person have adhd autism um you know what where are they at and then what can we do about it and that was like most of my work like doing all these testings doing psychotherapy with people counseling of staff so what i had to go after was the education i had and that was wonderful and for me there was always something missing i had this i had this thing in the back of my head that there's something else available there's something else possible and uh, i came in contact with access consciousness which is a worldwide movement who offers tools to change our lives. So I did a couple of classes. I used the tools on myself and um, I, I just, I was acknowledged for exactly what I was asking for. I was acknowledged for um, that everything we think is wrong about us is actually strong. So I started to you know, play with the tools and with myself and then also 
with the people that I met and um, I just knew, okay, there's something different available. So I created something called Pragmatic Psychology, which is all about, you know, not looking at what is wrong, not looking at the dramatics, but at the pragmatics. You know, like this world is all about, hey, what's wrong? <laughs> and how can we find a solution about it? Uh, what's the cause and what's the solution? And, you know, this pragmatic perspective is actually where it's all about, okay, so what what is and what works and how does it get any better in this? So the way we've learned to choose in this world is to always look at what's the right choice and what is the wrong choice. So with this different element of knowing comes in a whole new world of possibilities. And you look at those choices and go, if I choose this, what do I know about it? What will this choice create for my future? The first book I wrote, for example, it was like, I, I wrote it for me. I didn't even plan on writing a book because all this whole different perspective of every wrongness is a strongness is just so different that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna write this down for me. I'm gonna make some notes while I work with clients. So I get a different sense of what's possible. And writing this, um, I'm like, I don't know if I should publish this because this is so strange. And so um, I had people around me who encouraged me to, hey, like, just do it. So I got it out in the world and I basically, I like put my, <laughs> I put my my hands in front of my eyes. I'm like, okay, I don't want to hear any feedback. I don't want to hear any feedback because I'm sure people are going to find this horrible. I'm sure like any somebody's going to throw tomatoes at me. Uh, I'm even going to be thrown off this planet, uh, you know, into exile for crazy people because this is such a different perspective. And so I'm like, please don't tell me what you think about it. And then someday somebody said, oh my God, like, thank you, what you wrote in that book, I always knew this, like I always knew this, but nobody has ever said it, Never had. nobody has ever voiced it, but you voicing this gave me a sense of acknowledgement that I'm not crazy. And like, and all these people from, you know, different parts of the world, different professions, like went, thank you so much for having the courage to voice this. And, you know, this is where, the total difference of us, like where you think you're crazy and you being this in the world, you not worrying about judgments is where you oftentimes have no idea what you encourage in people and what you inspire in people. So like, go for it. <laughs> what did you always wanted to tell the world that you held back so far that if you would just voice it would inspire at least one person in the world? So what if today was the first day of the rest of your life where you where you actually do not judge yourself? And I know this is probably a big ask because everything you've learned, everything you've been faced with, everything you've been handed to from this world is judgments and making yourself wrong and not liking yourself. And um, yep. All of that is normal. And what if today is the day where you start on the journey of no longer needing to be normal, but embracing the gift of you being you and the celebration of you being everything you are with all your colors, with all your nuances, with all your craziness, with all your difference and inspire yourself and be surprised of how you, with that, inspire the world. <laughs>